now we are going to study about a very important topic dictionaries and uh, this topic is very important because you are going to use dictionaries in data science also so a dictionary is basically a list but the index values can be defined by the user so what we are going to do is, here is we are going to create a dictionary which will which is an english to english so i'm going to write here n to n so in order to uh, create a dictionary an empty dictionary you will you can use these curly braces so this dictionary is an empty dictionary it does not contain any element in it right so uh, now i'm going to insert some values in this dictionary so n to n so instead of using the index position you can see that in list in strings in tuples in order to access a particular element we were using the already defined index position like 0 1 2 but in case of dictionary you can actually specify a particular index value which is the user defined index value and this is known as key and the value that you are going to assign here is going to be uh, the value right so uh, in a dictionary you have keys and the values so let me just write uh, create a dictionary which has two words programmer and algorithm so the meaning of programmer i'm going to write here a person who writes computer program so we have inserted an element in our dictionary let's create one more keyword so one more key will be algorithm so here i am going to write the link or the i'm going to insert the value so algorithm is basically a process or set of rules to be followed to be followed in calculations right so i have created uh, two keys and i have assigned it some values so let's now uh, discuss about some dictionary methods dictionary methods which allows you to uh, perform some operation in this dictionary right so let's suppose you want to display the keys of the dictionary in order to do so you will have to use the dot keys function which will display the keys of this dictionary we know that the keys are programmer and, and algorithm so when we will print it we, will, we can see here that it displays dictionary keys are programmer and algorithm so let's perform some more functions and here n to n is our dictionary dot items right so if you want to display the whole dictionary in the output you can do that by using dot items and it will just display that there is a programmer key and the it basically refers to a program who, who a person who writes computer program and you can see that there is another one so the key is algorithm and the value is this one so dot items is used to uh, just display all the items of our dictionary there are some more methods like if you want to display the values only without keys you can do so by using the values function and if you want to print the length of the number of items in the dictionary you can do so by using the uh, length so why dictionaries are used uh, the most uh, the very uh, most important usage of dictionary is that you can access a particular element inside a dictionary by just specifying the key so let's suppose i want to know the meaning of programmer so i'm just going to pass the key programmer and it will display the value that it will hold 
So after running this, you will be able to see an output like this. So two is the length of our dictionary. These are the values. You can see that keys are not included in, in it. And here it has displayed a person who writes a computer program. So if you want to ac access any particular element in a dictionary, it becomes very easier because you can create custom keys. So let's, let me just show you a very good e application of dictionaries. So what I'm just going to do here is I'm going to create a sparse matrix and a sparse matrix is basically a matrix that has more zero elements in it. It has more zero elements than the non zero elements. So let me just create a, uh, an example here. So you can see here I've created a matrix. You can see the uh, rows, there are four rows and there are five columns and you can observe that this is a sparse matrix because you can see that there are so uh, zero numbers are uh, zero is there in a lot of places, right? So non-zero elements are so in this case, you can see that if you will create a list like this, it will uh, hold unnecessary memory. So we can use a uh, dictionary. So we are going to make use of dictionary to solve this problem of this memory usage. So we are now going to create a matrix too. And we are going to use dictionary. And then what we are going to do is we are going to just specify uh, in the key, we are going to specify the position of the non zero element. So you can see that in the position zero comma three, the element is one. So I'm going to write the value as one. So let's create another key. And you can see that if we take two comma one, the value is three. Similarly for value two comma two, the value is six and the last one is three comma four the value is seven right so we have created a dictionary here which in which we have provided the key as the position of the known zero element and uh, you can see here i have provided i've provided the value that particular position will hold. So you can see that uh, here we have created a dictionary and how it is saving a lot of space. So let's suppose you want to access an element from this matrix to from matrix two. you can do so uh, very easily by just printing print matrix and now you can provide the position like this. So zero comma three is the position and you can see that it is also the key of our dictionary matrix two. The value is one. So when you will run this, you'll be able to see that it will display. Okay, so it has displayed list indices must be integers or slices, not tuples. All right, looks like we have made some mistake in here. All right, so matrix, it should be matrix two. Let's run this again. And now you will be able to see that it displays one in the output, right? So this is how you can use the dictionary to uh, implement a sparse matrix.